our patient has some symptoms in the groin. Are those symptoms coming from a psoas muscle lesion or are they coming from a psoas bursitis? Sometimes the differentiation is not very easy. Well, if we think of a psoas muscle lesion, then of course the main positive test is the resisted hip flexion. This is going to be quite painful. When we think of a psoas bursitis, the main positive tests are going to be some passive tests. For instance, the passive flexion, because the bursa is nicely squeezed in. Possibly also pain on the rotation, could be medial rotation or lateral rotation, but this image can vary a little bit. But the main positive test in case of a psoas bursitis is the adduction from 90 degrees flexion. When we do this movement, that's what is hurting the most. And of course, palpation is also going to be helpful. You compare the psoas muscle with the psoas bursa. And even then, if there still would be some doubt, what can you do? You can do a diagnostic test friction massage. You friction five minutes the psoas muscle, and after five minutes you retest. If the retest is better, then you have a positive link with the psoas muscle. If not, you think of the bursa. Thank you.